How to install Hydrogen OS 11 based on Android 11 on the POCO X3 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Hydrogen OS 11 based on Android 11 on the POCO X3 Pro. Now, what are the prerequisites for this video? Well, for starters, you do need to have an unlocked bootloader. Then you also need to have TWRP recovery installed. How do you unlock the bootloader? How do you install TWRP recovery? Videos for those can be found in the description of the video. Next thing you need to make sure is that your battery is charged at least 50 to 60 percent. Do not, and I repeat, do not do this process if your battery is at 20 or 30 percent. Also make sure you have a backup of all your pictures, videos, anything important which you have on your device because we are going to perform a format data and you are going to lose all your pictures, videos and anything important which you have on your device. So here it is. I do have the POCO X3 Pro which right now is running MIUI 12.5.2.0 based on Android 11. However, even if you are running a custom ROM based on AOSP, the steps will remain the same. You just have to skip the steps which are not applicable to you. So for MIUI, next thing we need to do is we will go into password and security, remove your screen lock, fingerprint and face unlock. Once that is done, go back, go into Mi account and remove your Mi account. Those of you who are running custom ROMs based on AOSP you won't have the option of removing your me account then we will go into accounts and sync and remove our Google account once you have removed all the accounts and security measures make sure you reboot your device once now why are we removing all the accounts and security measures we're doing this because we are going from one ROM to another and I don't want you to be locked out of your own device and then the next thing is signing back into your previous account while doing the initial setup is painful for me so that is why I prefer to delete all the accounts and security measures beforehand next up what are the files which you need now all the files which you need are of course linked in the description of the video and initially we do need the ROM itself so this here is hydrogen OS from the oneplus 8d Android 11 this is a zip file and we need it on our device next thing we need to do is boot into our custom recovery so first of all turn off your device and once the device is turned off press and hold power and volume up together till you see the recovery logo so here it is we are booting into team win or twrp recovery we do have the splash image the initial boot up does take some time and if the screen turns off press the power button swipe to unlock you should be good to go next up go into wipe advanced wipe select dalvik data and cache and then swipe to wipe once that is done tap on the home button go into mount make sure none of these are mounted again none of these should be mounted so system system underscore ext product vendor or DM. These should not be mounted. If they are, unmount them by tapping on the square beside the name. Then tap on the home button, go into install. Now you need to navigate to the folder where you have downloaded the Hydrogen OS ROM. If you downloaded it on your phone directly, it will be in the download folder. If you transfer it manually from your computer, you would know the location, select the file and then swipe to confirm flash. Now once the file has flashed successfully, you should get a message of script succeeded result was 1. Anything after that can be ignored like we are getting the error messages of failing to mount some partitions. Those can be ignored as long as script succeeded result was 1. This means Hydrogen OS was flashed without any errors. Next up, tap on the home button, wipe format data yes and then tap on the check mark on the bottom right of the keyboard again format data will result in wiping out of all your pictures videos anything important which you have on your device so make sure you do have a backup of all those things and again the error of failing to mount partitions can be ignored we did get formatting metadata using mke2fs so everything was done without any errors next up just select reboot system and there it is we do have the hydrogen os boot animation on our poco x3 pro which means we are booting into the rom now the first boot up might take some time so you have to be patient and there it is we are on the setup screen let me skip the initial setup real quick do note you can select the language as english united states on initial setup 
So here it is, we are on the home screen. Let us open the application drawer, go into settings. About phone is OnePlus 8T, Android version of course is 11. Build is Hydrogen OS. And now we have successfully installed Hydrogen OS on our Poco X3 Pro. Now a super important thing to note over here is that when you open your application drawer, you will notice that you do not have the Play Store. That does not mean that Google Apps are not there. You do not have to flash any Google Apps because if you go into settings, accounts, try to add an account. It will by default try to add the Google account. There it is, Google sign in. So all you need to do is download the Play Store APK, which again is linked in the description of the video. Transfer it to your device and then you can open the file manager application and here in going to install packages play store select that settings allow from the source go back and then we can install the google play store it is going to install the play store for you there it is play store was installed without any issues and now i should have the google play store in my application drawer there it is sign into your google account and you should be good to go now if after adding your google account you go into contacts and you see your contacts are not there how do you fix that you can go into settings go into apps and notifications see all apps here and go into google play services go into permissions now you need to give it the permission of call log contact and storage so let us go ahead and give it the permissions call log say allow go back and it will move over to the allowed section so next up we will select contacts and say allow go back and similarly then we can go back storage allow access to media only go back once this is done you can go back to the apps main page and we are still in all the applications here in you will have something called google contact sync go into permissions contacts allow this and then what you need to do next is re-add your account so you can go into settings and here in once you're in settings you can go into accounts remove your account and then add it back so i did that removed my account added it back didn't even have to reboot my device go into contact spam here it is this is the contact which i have added to the specific account so that fixes the issue of contact sync on hydrogen os Next up with respect to safety net. So safety net is not going to pass out of the box. Again, it will not pass. You will have to root your device using Magisk. Once you have rooted, go into settings. Then enable the toggle for Magisk Hide, which is the toggle over here. And then go into the second option. This is your Magisk Hide. Tap on Magisk Hide. It is going to load a list of all the applications. Tap on this search icon on the bottom right here and make sure show system apps are selected filter by name and select google google play store will not be checked by default so check google play store application and then you need to go into settings apps and notifications see all apps once you are in see all apps you need to clear the data for google play services so first of all you will go into Google Play Services, Storage and Cache, Clear Storage. Once that is done, you will come back over here, go into Google Play Store, same thing, Storage and Cache, clear all the storage for Google Play Store, and then you are going to root your device. Once you have done that, you should be certified in the Play Store. So if I go into Settings About, you will notice that Play Protect device is certified and I should be able to download any app which I want to without any issues as well. So here it is, let us try downloading the Chrome application because it is not baked into the ROM. And as you can see, downloads are working without any issues. Chrome was installed and there it is peeps. That is how you install and set up Hydrogen OS 11 based on Android 11 on your Poco X3 Pro and that will do it for this video. Hope my video helped you. Likes, shares and subscribes are appreciated. Feedback and comment more than welcome. See you when I see you.